Kia ora, here's the next video from this year's Dub C Scholarship Calculus exam. And this was one where we asked you to find all the solutions to this equation here. Now there were a variety of methods used to get the answers here. One of them was bung it in my calculator and then write down the answers. Um, so I didn't love that this question you could do that for. Um, I didn't give full marks for that because it was a skull calc exam. I'm not sure, I don't think you'd get this question in this form um, in the exam because of that. But I'm going to show you two other ways to think about it, pretending that you didn't have a graphics calculator with you. Um, I want you to think about what you notice when you see this and what makes it look bad. So pause the video and just write down a couple of things that you spot in here. Right, well the first thing that I spot is I don't really like that I've got z to the power of 4 stuff here and I've got z to the power of 4 here. I do like that 256 because I know that that's 4 to the power of 4. But if you think about how you can get a constant on its own on one side, then if we divide through by z to the power of 4, we have this. Z, z minus 2 over z to the power of 4 is equal to 256. And now we can do a u substitution and work from there. So that's the first way that I'm going to do that question. And some of you will, what, will see that and straight away know what to do. I'm partly making this video for people who are giving skull calc their first go. So I'm going to work through that method pretty slowly. So that's a U substitution way. And then the second way that I noticed is that I can use the difference of two squares in here. So that's method one. And then method two is to say, well, we've got, it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, uh, I'm just going to do what I did in my notes. So we've got zero is equal to 256 z to the power of four minus z minus two to the power of four. And making an equation equal to zero is often a good place to start if you really are just stuck and can't see where to start. So then what I notice is that this is a square and this is a square. Uh, I'm going to do this method first. And I've got 16z squared squared minus z minus 2 squared squared. So doing our year 10 difference of two squares on it, we get um, two quadratics. And then we can solve those two quadratics. I think that's right. Let's just have a wee look. Yep, that looks good. Also remember that we're solving a quartic and it's it might look bad, but it's got um, real coefficients. So we know that if we've got complex roots, that they will fall in conjugate pairs. And we know that we should have four solutions to this. So cleaning this up, um, I get 15z squared. Uh, now I'm going to do this quite slowly because, so I'm actually not going to go straight to that 15. We're going to go really slowly because a lot of you are still making algebraic errors. So that's minus 4z plus 4. And then over here, because this is a plus, we can go a little bit faster. So we've got 17z squared. Uh, minus 4z plus 4. So this one is ready to go. And this one is nearly. So this is 15z squared plus 4z minus 4. So then you can use your like favorite method of doing quadratics. This one just kind of looks like it might factorize. It turns out that it does. So we've got 3z here and 5z here. We can try a 2 and a 2 here. And if we put a minus here and a plus here, that one's done. And then this one, I'm going to do quadratic formula too, I think. I can't be bothered doing completing the square because it's got a 17. So this gives me straight away z is equal to negative 2 thirds or 2 fifths or z is equal to negative b, so 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 4 times 17, yuck, over 34. That all cleans up to give me 2 plus or minus 8i on 17. So I get 2 17ths plus 8i or 2 17ths minus 8i. Right, so they're my four solutions. But I mean, the, the purpose of doing these questions is, is not so much getting those solutions as thinking about all of the different ways we've got for attacking hard equation problems. So there you go, that's doing difference of two squares. Now, some of you successfully did um, factor theorem on this. 
Or I think what you actually did is you did graphics calculator and then reverse engineered your factor theorem and went from there and then had a cubic to solve. And that worked. Um, but I'm going to show you the U substitution method now. So again, this is especially for year 11s who are having a look at this, who are probably still a little bit wobbly on your complex number stuff. So if that's not you, just hang up the video and go and do something else. Remember, we started with this. We noticed the 256 was good. We didn't like this. So we said, let's make it u to the power of 4 is equal to 256, where u is equal to z minus 2 on z. Now, straight away, we know that the four solutions to this are going to be evenly spaced around the circle. So we get u1 is equal to 4, u2 is equal to negative 4. And then, so that's this one here. And this one here, now working in order, which I should have done, is we get u3 is equal to 4i, and u4 is equal to negative 4i. Now, you don't have to spot those, and you could have done that using De Moivre's theorem. So again, it's, it's about layers of problem solving. So if we've got u to the 4 is equal to 256 cis of 0 plus 2n pi, then we can go out of the 4 cis 4 theta equals da da da, we match this and we get r is equal to 4 and we match 4 theta equals 2 n pi which is generating that even spacing of, um, what am I doing here, uh, n pi on 2. Okay, so that's how I'm going to generate my four solutions. So if you are watching this and you're just sort of starting on doing scholarship questions, Go and watch some of my complex numbers videos at Achieved and Merit level. There are a couple on De Moivre's theorem and solving equations with complex roots. But you can see that what we've got now is that we've got four roots for u, and we just have to turn them back into z things. So we're going to do that next. Um, and again, there are a few different ways to do that. So we've got z minus 2 on z. We'll do the two real ones first because they're very easy. So we get a year 9 equation, z minus 2 is equal to 4z, negative 2 is 3z, z is equal to negative 2 thirds. z minus 2 on z is equal to, what's the next one? Negative 4. z minus 2 is equal to negative 4z, negative 2 is equal to negative 5z, so z is equal to 2 fifths. All right, so you can see that those are the two real roots that we've got. Now, the complex ones are a little bit more work. We've got z minus 2 over z is equal to 4i. And there are different ways you can go here, right? Like you could substitute an x plus i, y, um, and that's fine. But I've just kind of done it like this. So we've got 1 minus 2 over z equals 4i. That gives me 1 minus 4i is equal to Sorry, I'll turn into shape off yet again. 1 minus 4i is equal to 2 over z. I'm going to bung that over 1. And now I have 1 over 1 minus 4i is equal to z over 2. That gives me z is equal to 2 over 1 minus 4i times by the conjugate. Boom. We get 17 in the denominator and we get 2 plus hi in the numerator. Now, I'm not going to do the other one, but if you are doing this for the first time, you really should do the other one, right? You get good at these by doing heaps and heaps of practice. So that's Z4. So th there you go. That question was not that well done. Um, and I think a lot of you, especially first-time scholarship sitters, just kind of freaked out a bit when you saw all of the power of four things. Like, you've got the, you've actually got the level eight curriculum skills to do every question in this paper so it's a matter of trying to see a way into the problem right so a couple of strategies for you there um, and of course giving it a go on your graphics calculator and seeing what the answers are is sometimes a good start but i feel like sometimes it's, it gets in the way of you seeing seeing the way to attack the question okay that's enough motivational speech and waffling for me for one night, I will be back tomorrow with some more of this year's Skullcalc paper.